my dear viewers welcome to this reading this reading is for all virgos and it's for november onwards 2023 it is all about your money reading my dear virgo all about your work your career and finances so let's begin to see what are the most important factors for you all to know welcome everybody and let's begin with the first card first energy here wishes come true how beautiful what a beautiful beginning wishes coming true hmm it says rapid achievement of your dreams and wishes. That means very quickly you will be establishing your dreams and wishes. In particular, one of them, very strong. With a new beginning, perhaps. I see the letter T for those of you um, with your name beginning. Initials T for tiger, Chinese year of the tiger. Tiger twice, because we've got a three also here. Uh, T for um, Thailand, tiger, Tommy. And then we've got E for Evelyn, um, Eden. Emily, Edward, and um, we've also got number four here, uh, four, uh, which is Chinese Year of the Rabbit this year, and um, I've got T all over the place, and three, the Chinese Year of the Tiger, very strong. Wishes coming true, very intriguing. Let's see, my dear Virgo, let's see what's going on. Something big is happening for you this year, that's for sure. One message, all Virgo money work related. A new passage, a new path is coming, opening up for you something big and a new way to success, a new path to success. You are going to be loving this. Absolutely. All right. Four major impacts that will impact all Virgos. Oops. And we've got one that opened up and we've got the world. That means one cycle ends and a new beginning begins. And this new beginning brings you a lot of happiness travel a lot of victories elevation and height being very comfortable money is coming in big time this is the card of rewards and abundance and travel and completion of a cycle so this is magnificent let's see what else three major impacts for all virgo for november then we've got the eight of wands which shows very quickly you need to take advantage of a situation first it's going to be an opportunity second you are going to resolve a problem with this but you need to act quickly and I'll find out what this is for you um, when we do the clarification. Let's see. It says a little bit of patience and everything is going to work out. You are going to have stability, happiness in your life coming. Your guiding angels are working behind the scenes without you knowing to bring forth a lot of happiness and a lot of stability in one major area of your life and more. Now, the magician shows more. We have major three major arcana. And that means three major impacts in your life. Um, the magician shows that you'll be able to move things the way you want, be able to do what you haven't been able to do in the past, but you need to be a little bit patient and vigilant in the way you process things. I'll tell you that about that a little bit more, but wishes being granted is more important, and the magician is part of your wish, bringing uh, matters come to light for you. What you don't see happening is you may be entrapped, feeling unhappy and constrained in regard to something, but there's good news coming that's going to give you the truth and the truth is going to help you and free you i also feel like money is coming big time for you um this is what you don't see happening to the point where you'll be able to do so much and help those who are uh, less fortunate let's have a look at what else you need to know my oh wow we've got the light the candle this shows that your ambition is incredible but taking action in regard to a matter is very important manifesting money without a doubt money is coming in but you do need to manage something well. I feel like there's something that you're not seeing, something that needs your attention. Uh, in regard to your career, I feel like there may be management positions for you. There's high ranking, that's for sure. Something is becoming visible now also to do with your health. Your health needs a little bit of your attention. You need to pay attention in regard to your health. Something that you might not be seeing that needs to be uh, discovered so have a look at have a try to see your um i know this is a money reading but when the candle comes uh i've got to talk about something hidden that needs your attention so have a you know look at your um try to see your professional you know health like doctors and that try to see a doctor and see just do a, a overall checkup to see what is minus i feel like there might be something minus and you're not seeing it let's go further to the next one and it shows a book you'll be very busy with documentation papers paperwork um, dealing with um, some of you could be writing your own um, autobiography there may be a contract something a signing contract learning as you go with something new that you're doing i also feel with the golden book 
It's about careers to do with education, law. You might be needing a lawyer for something. Taking classes and learning. Writing also is another one. Let's see what else you need to know. Oh, too many cards. Virgo money, November. So we'll start with the first one. And then with the second one, the badger. Hmm, very interesting. The badger is all about being fearless and bold, taking action and you will succeed without any fear, without any um, reluctancy, you will do well, be bold and take action. And the armadillo is all about um, setting healthy boundaries. Again, this could be to do with health, needing to set healthy boundaries, taking care of some things that are missing. Number three, again, those of you connected to a strong family or teamwork or Chinese Year of the Tiger. If you're connected to someone born in the Chinese Year of the Tiger or if you yourself are born in the Chinese Year of the Tiger, I feel like there are boundaries that you need to set, healthy ones in regard to your work, in regard to your um, health. Very important, both of them. Let's see what else for all Virgos. The truth about money, work and career, November. And what have we got here? We've got adults and children. Like I said, it could be family matters. Um, there may be matters of uh, family, children, uh, planning things together, planning a trip together. There could be something like that. I also feel like self-care is very important. Again, taking care of yourself. It shows there may be something that's lacking, something that needs your attention now. And it's coming in your money reading. Um, my dear Virgo, this shows that there could be a health issue that might interfere with your work and with your health. Self-care is very important. Take care of yourself and um, see what is missing. Just have a checkup. See what is lacking. Sometimes there could be the, the most, you know, um, the most simplest thing, like just, you know, it might sound simple, but it isn't. Say, for example, if you're a vegan and you're missing out on not eating red meat, you might have low iron and that might cause... Um, you know, that might cause some sort of, um, you know, low iron needs attention so that it doesn't cause a problem. So always remember to check your all your vitamins and everything to see if everything is intact. Oops. Okay. So let's have a look at two more messages for all Virgo. I feel like there may be a nutrient or a mineral that's missing or a vitamin. Okay, let's see. True. Okay, if you've been feeling, um, the clue here is like, that shows me, if you've been feeling dizzy and neglecting it, try, now you're going to say she turned it into a health thing. It, it isn't me, it's what the messages are coming. You are going to get exactly what you want ultimately, but you've got to go slow and take time. You need to take time out and pay attention to focus. Again, fogged in means you can't see things clearly, and that's what this is all about. Something you're not seeing clearly that you've got to do, and it might be bringing some turbulence in your health and in your, uh, that's why they're saying set boundaries. Like uh, even if you're working too much, maybe you need to just pay attention a little bit. Um, finding sanctuary is very important. Opening to, uh, to your spiritual source. It's like your guiding angels are trying to show you something that you will be finding um, a situation where you will be feeling at home. You'll be feeling very happy, very stable. Stability is coming. A little bit of patience and you are going to be healed and a lot of happiness is coming also let's see what else you need to know my dear virgo okay so it says here creativity i'll tell you all about that in a moment something new is happening it looks like um there may be a situation where again we've got number three something's happening big in march i feel like march is going to be a situation where you might be uniting or doing something together there could be a travel family getting together doing something creative and fun together there could be something creative that you're putting into action also that's a possibility you could be writing your own story uh, i feel like with the book and creativity doing something creating something something about parenting there may be a bit of a challenge that you might be going through but you'll heal from this and everything should be fine i just feel like between um maybe uh, three to six up to nine weeks from november onwards there will be some situations where they could be a little bit challenging in regard to parenting but that will resolve i also feel like uh, within three months um there will be some three months from november february february march i'd say march march is going to make a big impact in in the way you look at situations i, I feel like you're going to be more having more clarity and seeing things more clearly let's clarify the cards and see what else you need to know 
I just feel like I've got to get one more, just one more here. Anything else? I want to see if March comes up again for Virgo. No, the challenge is here and you are going to lead the situation. You have to take charge to transcend and overcome a challenge. The challenge is there. And I feel like your leadership uh, skills and capacity is going to be the way to overcome any kind of problem. And you've got nine weeks from November onwards to overcome this and start fresh a new beginning that will give you a lot of power empowerment let's have a look at the world for all virgo what is this ending and a new cycle beginning wow they're saying a little bit of patience and you'll understand everything a little bit of patience there is someone of water energy that is going to impact your life on a very high level water energy being scorpio cancer Pis pisces someone very caring considerate it might like i said this person will impact your life on a high scale um water energy you've got to look at your general reading to know who this person is i feel like with temperance here they're saying just be patient someone amazing is coming you're not seeing it it's not clear now uh, but i feel like a little bit of patience and you are going to be dealing with someone wonderful um, absolutely wonderful water energy scorpio cancer pisces this person is going to help you move forward and um, I feel like there's going to be a lot of empowerment, uh, empowerment because of this person. So very important. Okay, so um, we move on next. That's all in regard to this. Um, also, something is coming to an end. You are destined for a very happy life, even though emotionally you'll be very unhappy with an ending. But there is an ending, my dear Virgo. Something is collapsing, something that um, should have collapsed some time ago it had no foundation there was no future it was a karmic situation so it had to come to an end you may be feeling sad when that ending happens but you are destined for a lot of happiness and a life filled with happiness and luxury a life having it all so someone wonderful is coming in your life after uh, a situation ends let's have a look at the eight of wands now this is very interesting because the eight of wands could be connected to this being at the crossroads and making decisions yes you are taking time out and looking at everything after this ending you're taking time out and taking stock of what happened why did it happen going through a lot of true moments of questioning things and wondering what happened ultimately you are going to come to a conclusion that um what you are aiming for in life and your goal you are going to achieve without a doubt and in the process of making this decision i feel like while you're taking time out uh, there is going to be influence and i feel like this influence is going to be teamwork group maybe a business starting a family business or uniting with others and working on something that's going to be magnificent and very profitable extremely profitable could be that plan to go on a trip together could be a business together could be working in a team but ultimately the sun will be shining and i feel like you are destined for a lot that you don't see now a lot but you will be taking action without a doubt you will be taking action about everything that's happening here and um where is that card that i wanted oh Yes, it seems like to me you are destined for a lot of happiness and a lot of money and reaching your goal. But you need time to see all this. That's why we've got the temperance twice. It's showing just a little bit of patience. You are going to get exactly what you want and what is destined for you. And I feel what is destined for you is um, the nine of pentacles, a life of happiness, luxury, having everything you've always wanted, fulfillment in every way, materially number one and everything else. And also, I feel like wealth-wise and money-wise, you are going to be so comfortable to the point you'll be helping others. I feel success and warmth and healing is coming into your life. And with it comes a lot of clarity and manifesting exactly what you want, all your dreams, whatever you've always wanted, you're manifesting. So I feel like uh, that's what's happening. And that's the action you are taking. So whatever you're taking action in regard to, you're resolving a problem and you're taking time out ultimately you are destined to have it all to have all your wishes and dreams that's what it looks like to me let's go to temperance again now and see what temperance uh, when i say again because it has come up twice let's see what temperance is all about for all virgos money wow so they're saying oh my god money wealth and abundance the card of abundance fruitfulness nurturing power of abundance in every area of your life being nurtured and given everything by this goddess the empress and fertility also things becoming fertile starting a family for some of you but the ten of wealth is the ten of coins 
is the ten of wealth and riches money big time coming your way that's why they're saying patience and wow look at that and look at this the cycle ends you might a lot of money comes again you've got the world twice but um a rise in your money and having financial freedom long-term financial freedom there could be someone of earth energy that might be very supportive i feel like with the candle and um these two cards here with the candle showing you the way and of course you've got the wishes coming true don't forget that wishes coming true and then you've got a big grand rise in your money that you are thinking about what to do with it um seeing the truth and seeing abundance manifesting money with a candle wealth and riches and the card of abundance and nurturing power wishes coming true so as you can see everything united it looks to me like you are going to be that's what's coming you are going to be quite healthy wealthy and helping others those who are less com uh, less uh, um what's less, less vulnerable and they need your help you might be doing charities but i feel like you are going to be thinking a lot about money and what to do with it and how to invest it a lot is coming and that could have been one of your wishes but without a doubt you're moving forward big time in this new passage in your life and the candle is going to be the way to show you the way actually this was all in regard by the way in regard to uh, where your guardian angels are saying take your time just uh, you know um, be patient because what we're doing is bringing forth all this for you a lot of abundance is coming for you so a little bit of patience and you're going to get it all let's have a look at the magician for everyone the magician and the magician is all about someone of water energy coming in your life we've got this twice where's the other one that we had it before there we go someone of water energy is going to impact your life we've got the queen and the king someone of water energy this person could be part of your wish something you've always wished for water energy scorpio cancer pisces you gotta watch your general reading my dear virgo and see who this person is this person is going to impact your life big time and i feel like now you might not see it but this is to do with one of your wishes okay this is about wishes because um the star is about wishes one wish you are going to be granted you got the card of wishes and then you've got taking action manifesting what you need and not seeing things things not being visible now that you don't see them i feel this not seeing something other than the fact that we talked about money and wealth maybe you're not seeing that now but i also feel someone of water energy is going to impact your life and change your life and be part of your life and I feel like this person is Scorpio, Cancer or Pisces. Water energy and you do exceptionally well with water. If you want to know more, have a look at your general reading for November and that will show you who this person is and how they will impact your life and what else is within them and how, the, how this person goes with you. What is their uh, connection with you? You'll understand things on a very high level using your general looking at your general reading i feel like there is something hidden from you my dear virgo and you need to see it you need to see it and you need to know it so this new passage is going to be spectacular your wishes and dreams and all coming true there is going to that you have been sacrificing for the sake of someone of air energy maybe you're taking action now you will take action and you're moving forward but you have been sacrificing or maybe you need to sacrifice to put your interest you have been i feel sacrificing for the sake of someone of air energy aquarius gemini libra i feel like you're going to take action and you're going to be moving forward very soon very soon taking action and moving forward wow there is someone new or someone that's um, waiting for you perhaps or someone new coming into your life that has fire energy in them also fire very important you know who this person is i feel like you are destined to be very happy and celebrate celebrating with this person as as time goes by this is a bit later on uh, after november i feel like you're celebrating with this person and fire energy are sagittarius leo aries find out who this person is because you're celebrating something wonderful maybe a life that's destined filled with happiness and a lot of blessings there are a lot of blessings pouring into your life my dear virgo and i feel that abundance this is coming in every way as you can see in every way abundance is coming we've got the ten of wealth and we've got a rise in your money just like it might be part of your wishes this could be it the ten of wealth the six of pentacles twice and a dramatic rise in your money this could be 
you know, something you've always wished for. So play the lotto, play the lottery, and don't forget your lucky numbers are in the community section of this channel, AUL. You click on it, you go into the community section, there are, and you'll see lucky numbers. One of the posting is called lucky numbers. You click on that, open it, and you'll see all the signs. Under Virgo, you'll find three batches of numbers, 2020, 2021 and 2022 so take those from the years 2020 2020 2021 and 2020 21 22 and 23 so three batches you take them play them play the smallest amount of money five ten dollars play consistently continuously every month and i feel like something major is going to take place in your life it seems like money is all over the place and I feel like this is going to take you to the next level. So the lucky numbers are there. You can also avoid that and just, if you don't want to go through all that, you can just play a lottery. Very small, five, ten dollars a month and that's all. I feel something major and big is going to take place. You are going to be celebrating something wonderful. You are destined for a life of luxury as you can see here. There is a life of luxury destined for you. Your wishes are going to be coming true and you're destined for an amazing life with all your wishes being granted. And a blessing that is going to get you to, to all your achievements and your desires being fulfilled. My dear Virgo, there is so much waiting for you, so much happiness. You just need a little bit of patience. That's what they're saying. A little bit of patience and everything is going to work well for you. So just be aware of this because this is absolutely magnificent. Truly magnificent. Wow. Okay, my dear viewers, I think we, uh, oh yes, the magician. Let's have a look at the magician and see what the magician, how will the magician impact your life? Empowerment. Let's see. Wow. Wealth, power, power itself. The emperor is about power and control of your life and you have the absolute power. Just like we have leadership, finally you are going to be controlling your life all the way without anybody interfering. There could be an offer you can't refuse, but you are going to be empowered of your journey to do what you want. And the reason for that is money. That's what's going to give you the power. You see, both two cards are major arcana. That means they will impact your life on a very high level, very, very strong level and with a big intensity. And this is to do with power. You, you might not be feeling powerful now. You may not be feeling that powerful now, but you will be. I feel like this empowerment is going to be big time and the cause of it is this money. Unexpected large amount of money. Now, my dear, dear Virgo, when I see that and with everything else we talked about, a lot of wealth destined for you and your wishes and celebrating and wishes coming true and then having all this life of luxury, this tells me that you may be destined not only for wealth and riches, but a windfall. There could be two sources of money, but it's big. Whatever it is, it's millions. So play the lotto or the lottery. I can't think of anything else that might give people millions unless you're investing in, in high-level stocks. If you're a millionaire and you're putting money into big stocks and something, you know, is paying like big time. Otherwise, this is like for me, what I see millions is just lotto or lottery. There may be another means and I'm not aware of it. But for, for me, this is the concrete way. Anything else, like I see it as gambling. This isn't gambling. This you can play $10 a month and win millions. So that's why I talk about this. People say, why do I talk about lotto or lottery? Because I'm not a gambler and I cannot risk big money into any kind of uh, stock market or anything because nothing is concrete for me and my point of view. For other people's point of view, it's different. People are making millions investing millions and risking money they've got it so i'm just saying i feel something big is happening here for you major and you need to know about it you might not be aware this might not be you know this is invisible now but you'll see that this is coming for you a life filled with wealth and luxury that's what i'm seeing here and empowerment with the magician so if you were feeling trapped unhappy you are destined for happiness and sleepless nights, worry, anxiety, not having your life in your hands is going to disappear and you are destined for a lot of happiness. So wishes are going to come true without a doubt. And I feel like this is part of your destiny that you're not seeing it right now. You're destined for a lot. As you can see, both of these illustrations, right, they've got their hands in the air, hooraying. You see that? Hooray, like happy. Uh, and, and gratitude for all the blessings that are coming in. And guess what the blessings are? 
maybe wishes coming true not one but wishes so it could be money and love and a, and a life of luxury and a life of abundance overall this is going to be something that you'll be celebrating all your life maybe not just once there may be a lot of celebrations coming or it could be at a time when you're celebrating something don't forget the wealth is there too this money coming in and wealth both of them are here on top of everything so there's so much that's destined for you my dear Virgo prepare for a life filled with abundance and, and incredible luck how amazing is that that is amazing great news is coming also don't forget that and i'll leave this with you do give me a thumbs up if it resonates with you don't forget something that ends it's a karmic matter it ends and yes you will be sad when it does come to an end but it was part of the destiny that had to end for you to move forward to a better position always remember that i wish you abundance of blessings don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't don't forget to watch the general reading very important to know who the fire and air energy no the air energy was sacrificing for there was somebody else earth energy fire fire energy and i had a feeling there was earth also no water sorry water energy it's the water energy that you need to know who it is this person's changing your life they might have fire within them scorpio cancer pisces sagittarius leo aries find out which one in your general reading and let me know i'd love to hear your comments about this reading I wish you abundance of blessings. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Support me in subscribing and clicking on one or two ads and making sure that you watch the video all the way to the end. These are all helpful matters for me. Watching the video till the end means a lot to me. Not stopping halfway. If you get sick of it, just let it run. Don't stop it so that I don't have issues with algorithms. That's very big support if you want to support me only. And of course, clicking on one or two ads will help me big time. It's like you're giving me a tip and I'll really appreciate your, your um, support and everything that you provide for me. I won't know, so you don't have to do it. But if your heart wants it and wants to do it, I would really appreciate it. I wish you abundance of blessings. Namaste.